So when you want to choose your mindful stitch, you might decide that um, a double crochet suits you better or a treble crochet or even a double treble crochet. The reason being is that the different stitches will have a different rhythm and some of the stitches are a little bit longer than others so there's more counting involved. So the best thing to do really is to, just to try try a double crochet, try a treble crochet. So if you want to try a double crochet we had our foundation chain um, and you take your hook and you poke it into the chain that you've made. So you put your hook into the chain, put the yarn over the end of the hook and pull it back through so that you've got two loops on your hook and then you put your hook under the yarn like we did when we did our chain and pull it through the two loops and that's a double crochet okay so we go in with our hook grab the yarn and pull back through yarn over the hook and pull it through the two loops. So I'll do that one more time. In with my hook, grab the yarn, pull it back through the stitch, yarn over the hook and pull it through. So if you wanted to count and try to practice your mindful crochet with a double crochet, you could count the in as one, pull back through as two, yarn over and through those two loops that could be three so you would count one two three one two three or you could just count the in and the out as one then the yarn over and through as two so you could just count one two one to, it's a personal thing really so however you want to break your stitch down is entirely up to you if you prefer a one two rather than a one two three then yeah you choose that so just aside from the mindfulness if you're using this video as a learn to crochet when you work your double crochets on subsequent rows to your foundation chain if you just tilt the edge of the yarn forward you'll see these little chains of the, which is the top of your stitches and you must put your crochet hook underneath both of those um, strands of yarn so under both parts of that V that you can see so you put your hook under both strands of yarn and then you pull the yarn back through that stitch and then again you've got your two loops on your hook yarn over hook and pull it through so under both strands of yarn, pull through with the yarn and through. So we'll go one, two, three. Or we can go in, back and through. Because if you go only under one loop, you've left the other loop behind and it creates a bit of a, a bit of a hole so always make sure unless the pattern tells you otherwise you must always go under two loops